we start our Hossian sauce now and um, the first thing that we need to put into our pan is our soy sauce. So I'm just making half of what the recipe suggests so I'm just going to do half a cup of soy sauce. One and a half tablespoons of the rice vinegar, white, white rice vinegar. One and a half. And the sesame oil, I'm going to pop one tablespoon of that in. Going to pop in one tablespoon of pureed or minced garlic. So the red chilli flakes, I'm going to pop in half a teaspoon of those. A quarter teaspoon of fine the grated black pepper. A quarter teaspoon of the Chinese five spice okay so we're going to actually put that over on a low heat so we're going to um, bring this up to a simmer so I'll bring it up to nine to get it started and then reduce it down to a medium heat and what we're looking to do is to stir all these ingredients through and as that's warming up I'm going to add so it's two teaspoons of xylitol we just stir this through to get the xylitol to melt So that's now starting to come to a, a boil. So I'm going to bring that heat right down to six, which is our medium heat. So we don't want to burn it. So we keep stirring this through for about a minute. Okay, so it's been approximately a minute and our sauce has come to simmer. The next step is to add our miso paste. So that's an eighth of a cup that I'll be adding. Just want to bring that down to a really low heat now. Okay, so that's about an eighth of a cup. We pop that in to our sauce. And now we want to melt that through. stir through. So the xylitol and the miso is what I am using instead of 
I think it's about um, eight tablespoons of sugar in a non-keto recipe. Just keep stirring that through until that miso has mixed through. Okay, so that's on a gentle simmer. Simmering nicely. And the last step to our sauce is to add xanthan gum, which is half a tablespoon. Just pop that into a little container and add water. We want to mix that up to get that mixed through. Have it starting to react. And then we tip that into our sauce. And just give that a stir through. And that will help to thicken up our sauce. Now I'm just going to turn it off the heat and give it a good whisk um, to blend in. to let this cool um, until it's completely cool before we use it. Um, so I'm just going to now set this aside. 